Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm super excited because I've got several things that I really want to share with you. Um, so <clears throat> I probably have to do several different videos because obviously otherwise I'd be here, you know, with a really, really long video. So the first thing that I would like to share is I have got a new kit, um, which I'm calling Swan Lake. So the kit is here and I have created a journal to showcase, you know, showcase the kit. So um, I will show you the kit first and then show you the journal. So if you're not really interested in watching the kit, just kind of skip forward kind of, you know, six, seven minutes or something. Um, and hopefully then I'll be kind of doing the journal then. So first of all, um, the kit itself, it contains, um, actually I can't remember now, I think it's 125 images. Um, individual elements to be fussy cut or you know cut out and um, on top of that in addition it's got five tags two envelopes and two uh, sorry one coin envelope and it also has got um, four pages um, you know kind of digital pages uh, so it's 18 pages total in size and it's on my Etsy shop it's obviously called Swan Lake so if I just kind of quickly run you through what's included in the kit, so I hope that the lighting's okay. It's been a bit of a drab day today, so, you know. So obviously this is what you get. It's in a PDF format and it's obviously, you know, you download it and then you just print it out. Um, I have now worked out how to kind of downsize images. So I'm assuming that to upsize would be kind of the same. Obviously I can't really advise you on that because possibly it would be different with different printers or different you know laptops or pcs or whatever um but you know i'm pretty sure that you can upsize or downsize things as you want so i have printed this kit just as it comes in the size that it comes and i've printed it onto very thin um card for the sake of this um you know show 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 and tell or <laughs> you know um for showing you through the kits the ones that i've used in the journal have been in slightly thicker card um so yeah i'll get on and kind of show you so basically page number one you've got these which are kind of obviously journaling cards or you know however you like we've got bird cages here with little swans and little rosebuds and then we've got little frames and more little images obviously you can um you know uh distress ink all of this or you could you know um coffee stain your papers before printing it um, or if you had a laser printer, obviously you'd be able to do that afterwards. I haven't, so, you know, I've just left it on the card. So that's the first page. The second page here, you've got lots more kind of elements here. Um, I'm just going to raise the tripod slightly more because I'm not sure that I'm quite getting the whole page in. Um, you've got words down here, adore, cherish, time, special. You've got the swan itself to kind of fussy cut out with a couple of flowers. And then you've got obviously various different elements. You've got a ticket, you've got another word here, bloom, and another word here, love. So they're all for kind of cutting out. Then here you've got more elements. You've got um, one of those kind of jug set things that people used to have on their nightstand. And you've got um, teacup, flowers here, tickets, more bird cages, journaling cards, frame. And then on this page, again, you've got another kind of journaling card. You know, I'm saying journaling cards. They're obviously for use as pockets or journaling cards or tags or, you know, however you want to use them. And an abundance of flowers incorporating the flowers that I've used, obviously, on the elements themselves. Um, and these gorgeous images of the swans together, um, which I rather liked. Here you've got more elements, um, more bird cages and cups and things. On this one, you've got um, again more flowers and things for fussy cutting. You've got another frame and more elements there. These are kind of from vintage images. Um, you know, all of these kind of things are all you know taken from vintage kind of images. Um, and here you've got again another kind of image up there. You've got another kind of ticket. Another frame here with this beautiful image, another image here on the bird cage, and then some kind of coordinating either pockets or journaling spots again. 
And then on this one, you've got again, um, birdcage, you've got some circles here, which for some reason my printer's been a bit smudgy on the bottom of one or two of these images. They didn't come out like that originally, so I know that the images are okay, but something must have been going on when I was printing. Um, another word here, it says happiness, um, and then some more flowers. And then here, more images, um, some larger tickets here. And again, another image here. All of these are kind of coordinating, um, you know, with this gorgeous image here. And then here you've got, again, more images, flowers, journaling cards and what have you. Here, more of, um, you know, the similar coordinating images and more of the flowers. You've got a heart-shaped one here and again, a ticket up there and another kind of oval shape there. And here I've just kind of um, coloured these swans in a very pale pink. They look really pretty like that. And obviously they go really nicely with some of the elements in the kit. And then here on this page, we've got your tags. So you've got five tags here and you've got a very small envelope, which you can sort of faintly see the fold lines. Um, but if you can't obviously make them out very easily, it just folds obviously along the kind of base of you know each of the corners that's that and then here you've got a larger envelope which again you can pick up the fold marks you know the crease marks but if you can't see that then you know again it kind of folds there and then here you've got one of the coin envelopes which again you should be able to kind of pick up the fold lines here but if not I mean it's in the obvious kind of places here and you just fold that over and then you glue it here and here and obviously that makes a coin envelope, which obviously, you know, this will all become more clear when you see the journal that I've made from the kit. And then here you've got four, um, you know, background papers. So you've got this green one with the swan in the corner with the flowers. Then you've got a kind of aubergine kind of mauve colour one with the double swans in either corner. And then here you've got this one which is kind of like journaling lines and um, grid paper and it's then got lots of the flowers kind of onto there. I um, still haven't quite fathomed out how to do the borderless printing on my printer so um, you know I'm not quite sure how to do that. And then here I've just got some sheet music which I've done in a very uh, kind of pale pink colour to kind of coordinate with the kit. So that's the kit itself, as I say it's 18 pages, it's got 125 images um, plus the tags, plus the envelopes and plus the background papers and obviously you can obviously print them as many times as you like. And now I'll just show you the journal that I have obviously created to you know, showcase the kit really. So it's a ring bound um, journal, it's tied with this um, vintage kind of lace which I've actually you know distress inked as well so that's that and it's on the big rings and it's got some more of the vintage lace down here and then it's just got um, a little kind of charm thing hanging there um, and another little one here and then the front and the back covers they're actually from a you know hardback book so that's how the covers are kind of formed and I've covered them with the cream coloured hessian um, which Laura gifted me and that's been kind of put on there and then on the front I've collaged lots of different laces and trims and things like that they've got a um, square kind of doily here and you've got an image from the um, kit itself and that's been layered up onto the pink um, sheet music as well so that's all been kind of put, popped on there and then it's all been mod podged across the front got a bit of ruffle there and some of that gorgeous trim with the pearls which was also gifted to me by Laura and then you've got a huge flower here which is just a handmade fabric flower and it's just got this huge um, diamante which actually this um, diamante it's not vintage or anything but it was from a cushion, you know, one of those throw cushions that you have on your bed um, that I had. And then eventually, um, you know, the cushion kind of looked quite tatty. So obviously I cut off this gorgeous button from it and I've snipped the back off the button and obviously popped it onto the flower. And then on the back, it's just the plain um, ivory kind of hessian. So that's kind of that. 
So going inside the journal, it's pretty chunky. Oops, and I nearly forgot. Sorry, I'm just going to be obviously finding lots of threads from my glue gun whilst I'm doing this video. So excuse me if I kind of end up pulling some of them off. Um, I did actually bring my tape measure, so try to be a little bit organised. So the size of this journal is six and a half by uh, nine and a half and it's pretty chunky it's kind of four inches thick at the kind of um you know widest part so that's that so going inside on the inside of the front cover obviously this was the you know the hard board of the book i took some of the um you know background paper this one and i've obviously cut it down and i've glued it on to the inside of the front cover and then I've popped on some of the ivory hessian as a pocket, some of the vintage lace and then some lace up here, some um, fabric ruffle down here and some faux de monte and then I've popped an organza but, uh, bow on there as well, some faux de monte on there and then what I did was I've taken one of these circle images which I probably won't be able to actually find them now, yep some of these um, one of these anyway so obviously cut that out and I've backed it onto some chipboard and then distress inked it and glossy accented it so that's what's kind of in the middle of there which I thought looked really pretty and then I've just made a little booklet just literally from again using the sheet music um, background paper one of the elements from the kit and I've popped some flowers on the inside there of the cover and then I've just popped some pages in there just for journaling that goes in there and then this page here is um, it was a file folder which I've kind of um, doubled over to create a large pocket I've covered it with some sheet music this was just some you know vintage sheet music that I had it wasn't this printed version um, and basically I have then created this envelope kind of fold out so this is an element from the kit, it's glued onto some sheet music, it's all been distress inked and it's been popped onto the envelope with some vintage lace trim there. I've got one of those pink swans which is up there and a fabric ruffle and some Dunwanty down there and sorry it doesn't tie up with the string but I've got one of these um, brads with a, I don't know what you call these but a kind of anyway thing that you wrap it round. And then inside of the envelope, which I have distress inked and coffee um, splodged anyway, um, I have just got a journaling card here, which is just from the kit, and I've just distress inked that. That just goes in there. And then obviously okay, ties back round, or loops back round. Inside this large pocket I have taken some of the elements from the kit so I took one of the large tags so from the page with the tags I will try not to do this obviously on every single page because it will get very tedious if you're watching me pull things back and forth but sometimes it's kind of useful to see you know the things that you actually have used because um, you know I know that sometimes when I watch videos I kind of wonder what what elements people have used um, so I have obviously taken a couple of the tags and I have just distress inked those and then popped them on and also one of the jugs I also popped a hole in there and then I've just attached it all with some of the ball chain stuff um, like that and they've all been just distress inked I thought they were quite nice as a little cluster of kind of items there um, and obviously you know if you can change their order around but I rather like those so they just go in like that and then on this page I have got again some of that um, background paper I don't know why but for some reason it's printed out much pinker um, you know on the first kind of print run that I did than the next now I assume that's something to do with when my ink levels change um, I'm not really sure but anyway I didn't find it affected it but you know just sometimes it looks more pink than others but anyway so that's that so I've popped the background paper on made a lace belly band with some lace trim I've stuck on one of the fussy cut flowers and then I've just popped in some more of the little fussy cuts images and I've just popped them all in there 
and that fussy cut flower kind of acts as a bit of a stopper from them slipping you know further down and then on the next page so the bulk of the pages in this I didn't actually say they're taken from a vintage book that I had and it was a book where the pages were very thick almost like card so all I did was doubled up the pages so two of them together and I stitched round the edges of them on the sewing machine to keep them together to form each kind of basis you know of a page so on this one I have obviously popped on one of the Im images from the kit a flower which I fussy cut out from the kit and then some lace trim top and bottom I've popped a fabric flower which I made and some diamond trim and then here I took one of the images from the kit um, again I will just try and find the image which I took it from and I won't be able to find that now either I know this is probably very tedious to watch it was this image here so um, and what I did was I tore around the edge of it which has formed obviously this and then I distress inked it up and then I formed a little kind of pad so you've just got some pages there held together on here so I just thought that was quite a nice kind of pad and then obviously it hooks on like that so I thought that was quite nice and then here I've just got um another little folding kind of booklet thing so this again is some of the background paper which I have just literally formed a fold out which actually before I rush and fold it out I've done a kind of double fold out so here is another image from the kit and it's acting as a little buff, um, stopper for this which is another folding kind of flip so that comes up but it also goes back down there so up got some lace trim bow and then inside you've got obviously this for journaling which you could just have it down there if you didn't want it on the front but I thought it looked quite nice on the front and then you've got this here for journaling that just goes in there and then obviously tie it shut like that and then it's also a little pocket so I've got some doily here and inside that pocket is the little green envelope which I have stuck on one of the teacups as a kind of, um, you know, to be able to tuck the flap into. And that just untucks and in there I've just popped one of the little elements from the kit. So like that. And it's all been distress inked so it all looks very vintage and uh, lovely. So again, this is obviously the um, book pages, you know, which I've stitched together and here I've just created a little kind of, um, you know, tuck spot um, from the background pages and then I have popped on one of the frames with the images and that's another little tuck spot. So that there has got another image from the kit, which just tucks in like that. And then I've just fussy cut out a couple of flowers there and stuck them on, got some lace trim and some faux de monte, another fussy cut flower up here and then just a little piece of lace as a little tab and this is the coin envelope which is included in the kit so as you can see it just kind of glues together down here and down the bottom and then the lid thing folds over there That's in like that and then on the next page um, I have got one of the book page pockets and on there I have just popped one of the bird cages with the swan and a bow, some lace trim, some pearls and one of the teacups and obviously that's the other part of the tab and then here I've just created another little pad just using some pages, blank pages and also that little um, you know background paper and the front is obviously the other background paper and some lace trim and then here I've got some lace trim down the edge and I've just got a couple of the frames from the kit and behind there I've also got this um, little element from the kit which I've kind of glued on just for detail and obviously a little bit more journaling space you've got journaling space here and here and obviously a pull out journaling card there so that just goes in like that and then here what I've done is just coordinated obviously the flowers together that one's got a little button but this one's got a brad in the middle and it's just holding some of the little p 
pieces together. So here I've just fussy cut the word love, fussy cut the flower and popped it onto this page. And then here I've got the swan and here I've got a little ticket. And obviously they're all just plain on the back for journaling. And obviously they're just held together with the brad on the flower. So, you know, if you wanted to take them apart or anything, then you could. And they just tuck in behind there. And then over the page, again, another couple of images from the kit. So I've just done them as kind of alternating tuck spots. So, and then I've fussy cut a large flower there, pop some lace trim and a bow. And then here, what I've done is made a little tag. And this tag I popped on. Oh, this is where I find I've glued it down. Oh. Um, I have popped on another little folding element so you've got obviously journaling space kind of on here then you've got this little fold out which tucks under these little petals to keep it down and then obviously you've got the back of that as well so that's that one and then up here I just created another kind of journaling card again with an element from the kit and just backed it onto plain card and popped some lace on there and then on this page I've got a sheet music pocket with some lace trim I've got here one of the jugs from the kit um, which I actually had left that as a little tuck spot and then I haven't tucked anything in there I've got the other envelopes this is the larger of the two I've popped on one of the elements from the kit there as a little you know just tuck it in and then inside there I've just got one of the journaling cards from the kit again I'm just dressing it up so that just goes in like that and tucks in so it's all quite neat and tidy and then over the page here I've just got a folding kind of booklet so if I just undo it there with the string and then it just folds out like that and then I've got a folding downwards kind of um, flip book going on there so that's that one and that was just made with some of the um, background papers again from the from the kit so you know the background papers are quite versatile and obviously you know you can do kind of lots of things with them and then on the facing page I've created a belly band here got some lace trim some more of that gorgeous um, trim with the pearls from Laura and again the belly band's been made from the pale pink sheet music and then on there I've just stuck on an element from the kit um, to create another kind of pocket. So this is one of the tags from the kit and I've just distress inked that and popped some soft net there. And that goes in there. And then in here, oh sorry, behind here I nearly forgot, I've got some fussy cut flowers from the kit and one of the tickets there with some more soft net. So more journaling space there. So pop that ticket in there and then I just created this large kind of tag which again is all just plain on the back but I've also created a little pocket there in the tag. So this is just created with some background papers and a teacup, some lace there and then popped in a little journaling card like that. Oops, so that just goes in there. And then on the next page, I have got here some more string here tying up this little fold out kind of envelope, which has been tucked around this, which is another envelope, which forms obviously a pocket here in the side, um, but it also is a pocket here at the top, which um, I have obviously forgotten to put anything in there. So when I remember, I will pop something in. Um, and inside, oh sorry, and then you've got another element from the kit here. And inside this envelope, I have created a paper clip with one of the bird cages with the swans. And that's just kind of held on like that at the back. And inside that paper, or held together with the paper clip, I have got these various little elements from the kit, which I just thought super pretty. And obviously they're all plain on the back, just distress inked up. So all for journaling and kind of using how you wish in your journal or, you know, on cards or however kind of you would like to use them. And they're all just held together 
with that little old paper clip there. They just tuck in to the envelope like that and the envelope then ties closed and obviously that was another image from the kit here. So obviously an abundance of swans but I just they were such pretty images. Um, here I've just got another little folding booklet with pages in it and just some lace trim across the front. So that's that. So then on this page I created um, like the file folder kind of um, setup but with some of the background papers so I've literally kind of popped them together folded them over and popped them together and created a kind of huge pocket here in the side and then what I've done I've glued on a little kind of folding booklet which is held shut with just a little bulldog clip and that has got various pages there and then underneath you've just got some more journaling space here and then it's also holding this little another pad with some pages there like that so and then you've got some ruffle at the bottom and a bow and some diamante so that just goes like that and then just held shut like that and then inside of there we've got another little booklet whoops which I haven't <laughs> stuck this one together so I must um, staple that um, the pages in place but lo and behold that's yeah escaped me I don't know quite how that happened um, and this was one of the um, inside pages of a book so you have got the word appendices obviously in the back but I will staple that in so um, yeah I don't know how I missed that anyway that's in there and then on the back I've just got some fabric ruffle and some doily and some lace trim and then I've just got a couple of elements from the kit tucked into the fabric ruffle and then here I just got one of the elements from the kit and just added it as another kind of um, you know little page and then here on this one I have got another one of the file folders and then what I've done is again sheet music I've got fussy cut flower one of the pink um, swans again I made one of my little um, fabric button embellishments there so that's on there and I thought that just coordinated perfectly with this because um, the green is exactly the same colour. Um, layered up elements from the kit here and then open the envelope. Underneath you've also got a tuck spot, which actually again, I haven't tucked anything in there. So I'll just tuck that ticket up there. Um, and then inside the envelope, there is another little journaling card again from the kit. So that just goes in there. And then inside the file folder, you've got here a little kind of folding booklet-y thing um, with a pocket here. So inside this pocket, I've just popped literally this tiny weeny tag with a little bird cage, and they're just attached together with a bulb pin. So I just literally made that tag from um, some of the background paper I think or it could have been from one of the journaling spots that I just can't remember now um, but yeah more journaling space obviously there so that's that one and then going over the page now while I was on holiday I tried to kind of um, think up some other kind of ways to do things so I've kind of created this fold out here which hopefully <laughs> hopefully you'll like it and hopefully it will work um, so basically it's one of the background sheets and what I've done is I've folded it over and then it opens out like that. So it's all quite neat and tidy. Obviously if this were plain paper you would have paper here for journaling but obviously this is patterned. Um, but you've got lots of journaling space here and then it just literally folds back in and then just tucks back in like that. And then I've obviously popped an element from the kit on there just for decoration. And then it's also a little pocket there. So I've popped in this jug. And then I've also glued it down as a pocket in the side. So we've got another little element from the kit that slots in there. And then here I've got another couple of elements from the kit which I fussy cut out. And I've done this one also as a little kind of tuck spot. So you've got another little pull out element there. So lots going on on this page. We've got also a fussy cut flower, some lace trim, some fabric ruffle up there. So if you like my little fold out um, 
thing then let me know I can do a tutorial on them um yeah I'm hoping that you will like them I just kind of thought you know maybe my stuff was getting a bit stale and boring so I was trying to think up something new to do and I just thought that was quite um nifty so that's that and then on this side I've got some doily here another couple of elements from the kit and some flowers from the kit and then some lace trim another fabric flower there and then a journaling card which here I've just glued on some um, elements from the kit to kind of decorate the journaling card and again I mean obviously this is kind of not been completely stuck down so you could use that as a little tuck spot there so you know that's that and that obviously goes in behind here and then going over the page I've got another little fold out kind of booklet with a little kind of pad in there and again this one's the back of obviously some internal pages from a book so that's that that just shuts like this and then you've also got a ticket from the kit up there so more journaling space you've got some lace trim here and a bow a bit of lace down the side little flower there on the edge and a journaling card there that slots in at the top as a pocket and then here this is an envelope which I have obviously made a little page out of so here I've got obviously some of the background papers again I've layered up some images um, tickets some flowers and one of the words and I've formed a pocket here with some lace trim and some diamante and then I have created a little tag here with some soft net and more elements from the kit it's plain on the back for journaling so that just slots in there and then here another just element from the kit which is just fussy cut out and obviously that goes in there and then also from the pocket I have created a kind of fold out bit so that's that and you've got journaling obviously there from it I've layered up some elements from the kit this was the heart from the kit and some pearls there and then I've just popped on another swan from the kit, some lace trim and then obviously that just acts as a tuck spot for this little journaling card like that. And then almost forgot that the top is also a little pocket. So here this is the large tag which I literally just obviously added some soft net and then I just threaded on a bulb pin with the little bird cage, one of the bird cages and then I've just glued on the frame there. Um, you know for extra detail so that's that I mean obviously those tags could just be left as they were but I just thought it was fun to kind of add some more bits and then here we're on the very last page so this is the inside of the back cover so again it's that hardback book just covered it with the same um, background paper as the front inside cover and then I've just created a little booklet so um, that just unties and then opening that out you've got obviously pages here for journaling and then you've got a frame here which has been fussy cut out from the kit and you know more journaling space there or obviously photos um, I have actually forgotten to put something inside there as well so you know again you could obviously kind of move something from elsewhere where you've got kind of more than one thing um, but that just obviously ties back closed and you've got some lace at the bottom and some fabric ruffle and some of the faux diamante um, so quite a lot going on in that journal it is super chunky um, but I do quite like them that way again you know I think I've said before I do like the ring bound journals because I think they're quite great um, you know good for flexibility and being able to move your pages around and obviously stuff them really full um, you know so I feel I have a lot more freedom with them than I do with kind of the other um, you know kind of journals with the kind of signatures in them um so anyway i hope that you like it and it will be on my etsy shop um as will the kit obviously and um yeah so check it out so obviously check out the kits check out the the journal um and yeah give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment below love to um obviously hear your comments and um yeah thanks very much for watching sorry that i droned on a bit again but obviously it was quite a lot to show in one video so um yeah, thanks very much guys and see you soon. Bye.